Berg. What's that? I forgot. Well, I guess we don't have to vote on where we're making camp. You were right, Hiccup. There's so much more out here, and it's beautiful. And this is only the beginning, Astrid. Who knows what we'll find out here? Hiccup, it's coming for you! Astrid! I figured Stormfly and I would just bed down here. Aha! What a coincidence. I'm sleeping here, too. The way my dad snores, he's sawing logs, you know. I, uh, Toothless and I wouldn't get a wink. Thanks, guys. This is kind of nice. Astrid, one dragon wouldn't have made a difference. Hey, Astrid, I know what you're doing. Really? And what am I doing? You want them to fail. Look, we both know what's going on here. You're wrong, Hiccup. You want to stay on Burke and protect your family, but you can't be there every second of every day for the rest of their lives. Just think about it. Astrid! 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 What took you so long? Oh, thank Thor. Whew. You sure your plan's gonna work? That was pretty close. What do you think she would do if we tried to pull her out of there? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. She'd never go for it. You have to remember that. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Really. Astrid. <sighs> Hiccup, what are you doing here? Uh, Stormfly seemed a little worried, so I, uh... <coughs> I told you guys, I'm... Patrick! I'm fine. <coughs> Shh, just rest. We're gonna beat this. I promise you, Astrid. You need to stay with us. I can't imagine a world without you in it. I can't imagine a world without you in it either. Hiccup! Yes! Astrid! Thank Thor, you're okay. I'm fine. You're alive! Wait, you're alive? What's going on here? Dagger says you're buddies now and you're teaching him to ride a dragon? <laughs> yeah, it's a funny story, actually. Hiccup. First, Vigo gets our gold. Now this. I, I just think I should... Tell Stoic. He's the chief and he's your dad. No. Hiccup, your leg. Are you okay? I'm okay. Let's just go home. Stay awake for Hiccup Haddock and Queen Mala. Hey, hey, Hiccup. I got gotcha. you. Guys, let me talk to her. Alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. She can't see. What is happening to me? And and I, I appreciate it, really. Look, when there's a break in the storm, we'll fly to Burke and see Gothi. Don't worry about that right now. Just rest. Are you still there? I'm here, Astrid. Will you and Toothless stay with me a little while? Of course. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, you've got to hold on tighter. Oh, sorry. Uh, don't apologize. The truth is, obviously, I'm glad you're here. Ah! Ah! Astrid! Oh! Ah! 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 <sighs> you okay? I'm fine. Look. Obviously, I can't even imagine what this must be like for you. What if this is it, Hiccup? What if the rest of my life is like this? What then? Then we'll deal with it. Just because you can't see doesn't mean you're helpless. You don't think we can handle this? I am with you. There will always be a Hiccup and Astrid. Always. Do you hear that? Okay, this guy's gotta go. 
Now! Astrid, are you... Looking at you? Seems like it. <sighs> Thank you, Gothi. <gasps> Proud of you. I couldn't have done it without you. We make quite the team, huh? I certainly think so. I know that look. What's wrong? This is huge. Vigo, Burke, the Edge, and my dad. We could lose the Dragon Eye forever. And that could mean the end of the dragons, and they could be hunted to extinction, and I. But they won't be, because this mission will not fail. Hiccup, stop. You spent months planning this. It's gonna work. Oh my Thor! Did you seriously think I'd leave here with just a handshake? It's gotta be business as usual. We can't risk anyone thinking. Thinking what? Nothing! Nothing. Whoa, take it easy, Hickstrid. It is nice to know you care, though. If you don't know that by now, then. <laughs> I need to clear my head. I'll hold things together while you're gone. Take your time. We'll be fine. Astrid, I rely on you. It's what makes us, well, us. Deal? Deal. <gasps> Hiccup, we won. We can go home now. I'll be fine. I've got her. This was my father's betrothal gift to my mother. <gasps> Astrid, you're a part of our family. I hope you always will be. Astrid, you got me the greatest gift in the world. You. You, just being here with me. It's the only gift I need. Working on that secret project? Uh, it's not a secret, Astrid. Okay, so uh, then tell me what it is. It's, uh, well, you know. Yeah, secret. More secrets, great. You know what? I've had enough thinking to last me an entire week. I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> Call it a draw? Not on your life. I got you right where I... Uh, what? Okay. Uh. Yeah. Oil? For what? Uh, just a little something I've been tinkering with. Oh, right. Your secret project. Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just want to make sure. That's the one thing I really don't want to do. Spending time with you is important. What was that for? Just for being you. I love how sensitive you are. It's what makes you such a great friend. And, um, a great boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as we're staying, why do you say we take a moonlit flight? Thought you'd never ask. Huh? Ha! Oh! <laughs> we talk about our next move, Hiccup? I was thinking we should probably try to get the edge back, but you'll come up with it. Thank you. H how do you know that? Because Hiccup Haddock is the wisest, most talented, and brave dragon trainer on Earth, and he always comes up with it. So, you want to talk about it? Not particularly. Well, I do. Right? They're, they're, they're being... Made to do it. I know. We all know, Hiccup. In tough times, tough choices have to be made. Wow. You sound so much like... A warrior? My father. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's tough to say goodbye. Let's not call it goodbye, Hiccup. It's see you later. Struggle. Ah! Oh, hey, fish legs. Uh, this is more your area of expertise. Why don't you take it? It could mean she's passing up a chance at a lifetime of love and happiness. And same goes for you. Don't you ever want to meet a beautiful Viking girl and have a family of your own? <laughs> of course. And what would happen if Roughnut stood in the way of that? She would never. What was in the letter? 
closure. Ew! I'm with you. I know. I love you, Astrid Hofferson. With everything I have. And I always will. We don't have to be like them. I mean, we have a different kind of... Oh. Hiccup, give her some help. Get over here. Finally, some alone time. No distractions, no interruptions. Astra, don't worry. I'll be careful. It was worth all the risk in the world just to see that. And that's the last of the eggs. So much for Krogan's breeding program. He's as strong as they come, Hiccup. Look, if anyone can pull through, it's your dad. But while we're on the subject, we just came from the Great Hall. Think about where we would all be. Thank you. Thank all of you for tonight. This is the cruelest thing I think I've ever seen. You make a hundred decisions every day. They aren't all gonna be correct. What's important is that you keep making decisions. That after you fail, you move forward. Where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> Does it really matter? Looks like it's you and me then. Always. Is that corny or? <laughs> Probably. Nice, though. I was going to say, your father would be proud. I'm proud. And where you go, I go. Thank you. For everything. All right. Now let's get the riders and see if we can ditch. Astrid, listen. I'll be fine. We'll be fine. Johan and Krogan have probably gotten a head start. Hey. Your dad would be so proud of you right now. I know I am. As for the lovebirds... No, those lovebirds. Their future seems to be pretty certain. We return to Burke, ready for anything, Ready for anyone.